I'll, I'll call this one, don't be afraid to give away your knowledge, mm, right? That's good. So when people are making content, there's all there's a lot of times a rub at some point where they say, especially if you're in a consultative type of business, um, they'll say, well, if we, we can't give too much of this away, we have to we have to hold back a lot of what our knowledge is in our content. Mm -hmm. Because if we give too much of it away, they won't need us and they'll go do that themselves. Um, that's not true. <laughs> yeah. 98% <laughs> yeah, of the time, right. it's not yeah. true. And, and honestly, for the people, I will say for the people that do sort of soak up your knowledge and try to do that themselves, um, they they were never going to be your customers anyway. Um, they were they were always going to look to solve their problem on their own. Yeah, so that's right. And, and the upside is so big on giving away as much of your knowledge as possible. And the biggest upside is the authority that that attracts to you as the business. And um, so you, the the more you can articulate your knowledge and to give away your knowledge, give away your expertise, the more you're seen as the expert and they're not going to try to most of the time they're not going to try to do what you do on their own. They're going to come to you as the expert and you've already pre-sold them on that. Um, yeah. the no like and trust, like well they can trust you. Right. Um, if they know that you know what you're talking about. So um, don't be afraid um, err towards giving things away. Yeah. Right. Don't err towards like, ah, oh, we can't really talk about this because that's kind of our secret sauce. No, it's not. Yeah. Give it away. Yeah. We, we think of uh, innovation as part of an editorial schedule. And we have sort of waves of how we utilize and develop innovation uh, in our business. Uh, we develop, we have a hunch about something, we interrogate that, and we develop a template or a strategic document. And so the first wave of publishing that is to our customers. Uh, our paying customers. So it's part of the, the set of assets that are used to help our customers. And then after six months or a year, we're starting to see other people get that hunch and publish. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and turn that into either a blog post or uh, in the case of what we're doing right now on um, Dodgeball SEO, uh, a series of 102 blog posts. Uh, we're doing, uh, we're turning our 102 uh, point SEO checklist into 102 separate blog posts. And in probably six months, eight months, we're going to combine that into an ebook that will be available yeah. for free. I was going to say you should so, do that too. Yeah. So that's going to be combined into an ebook. So we think of it as a fountain, <laughs> but yeah, give it away, give it away. Yep. Give it um, away, give it away now. That's right. As the chili peppers. Was. That's right. That's exactly what I always think. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. So 